Yes. And, um, can you uh, walk us through what um, a day in the life is like as a family med PA here in uh, Hamilton? It's definitely very busy. Um, on a daily basis, I probably see between um, about 20 to 26 patients, depending on how busy it is. Um, there's a lot of uh, preventative health care. So for preventative health care, we do um, immunizations, we do well children visits, um, we do pap smears. Um, for chronic disease prevention, we'll see diabetic patients, patients with asthma, COPD, um, diabetes, of course, um, any other chronic illness. Um, I do see still a fair amount of dermatology as well, patients with psoriasis. Um, and then for acute care, there's, um, there's different things for acute care that we see. Um, we see um, patients with abdominal pain. We see coughs, colds, um, lots of different types of acute care problems, um, injuries from work, um, headaches, uh, leg pain, tons of fatigue, no shortage of patients with fatigue, um, and um, sometimes shortness of breath or chest pain, high blood pressure, so lots of different patients on a daily basis. We try to book a lot of our patients ahead of time, um, but we always try to keep at least about six same-day appointments available so that they can come in and see me if they need to. And how is it determined uh, whether the patient sees you or the physician? Are you two interchangeable? Um, so it really is up to the scheduling of if he's in one clinic and I'm in a different clinic, or if we're both in the same clinic, if they need an earlier appointment, I tend to work earlier in the day. Um, so if they want an early appointment, they'll be with me. Um, the patients can request. So a lot of times the patients will request to see me. I do all of the women's health and the babies, uh, the well babies. So those tend to get booked with me as well. Um, and then sometimes it depends on how complex the patient is. So sometimes I might see them for a couple of visits and then I'll refer them over to have their next visit with doctor, the doctor that I work with to make sure that um, uh, they can have that follow-up care. And then if we need to get a specialist involved, we can as well. So um, what would you tell a patient that has never seen a doctor before what to expect when they're going to see you? Um, if they haven't seen the doctor before? Oh, sorry, not I've not seen a PA before. Okay. So when I go in, I always introduce myself that I'm a physician assistant, and I let them know sometimes they have questions about what types of things I can help them with. So I let them know um, the type of patients that I see, the fact that we can write prescriptions through delegation through the physician, um, which is usually one of their biggest questions, is if they need to come back for a separate appointment for their prescription refills or if we can take care of everything at the same time. Um, and through those medical directives, that, that's something that I can explain to them that I can take care of whatever their needs are. And if it is something that's above my scope of practice, I'm able to ask the physician and have him either come in and take a look at the patient as well, or we're able to talk about the patient's coordination of care, um, and then be able to kind of move the case forward for whatever else we need to do. So how often are you interacting with your supervising physician? So we see each other every day in the clinic, um, and then we do make sure to talk um, about complex cases um, at least once a week, if not more often if we need to. Um, and then if there's specific questions, we do have like an instant messaging uh, through the EMR system, so we can use that as well. Um, and if I've got a question and he's not in the clinic, I'm always able to call him as well. And what differences has the clinic or the practice have noticed um, since adding you on as a PA? What's changed? <laughs> We're able to see a lot more patients, for sure. Um, so it is very busy. It is very quick-paced in the clinic. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to work with the patients and work with the team. Um, there's um, really good coordination of care now where we're able to do a lot more preventative care. Um, there's also a lot of... Um, there's a lot of um, interaction with the patients. I find the patients really enjoy coming to the clinic, which is an unusual thing to have them say, but um, they feel really comfortable. I've had patients that I've talked to um, with different transgender issues and different things like that, that as I get to know them and as I get to know their families more, I, they feel very comfortable, which is wonderful to see that they're, they're willing to open up and let us help them with their health care. Um, a lot of times they do refer other family members, cousins, neighbors, friends. We get to see pretty much lots of people that they know. Um, can you tell us what you're doing? So I'm just looking through the different consult notes that we've got from specialists. Um, also going through the mail, so if we've got any um, EKGs, 
um, chest x-rays, ultrasounds, anything like that. Um, just being able to go through and see if we need to have the patients come back in for a visit um, or if everything's okay.